we started our, our careers with a Hubble constant ranging from 50 to 100. And we resolved that, we sort of, and we met somewhere in the middle. And we knew that was a problem, but the uncertainties were pretty high back then. So the, my, one might even say the uncertainty bars overlapped. So that you say, if there's, the answer is anywhere, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. Now you're saying we have two results that are much closer to each other, yet the uncertainties are so small, there is no chance of them overlapping. So something has to give. So either this is really interesting and we're learning about some fundamental problem, fundamental property of the universe, or we've underestimated our uncertainties. Okay. I'm going to bet <laughs> yeah. on the second so, one. What that, so <laughs> that could mean that we'll learn something about astrophysics, about the properties of stars. Different. We're going to learn something about supernovae or Cepheids or something interesting astrophysically, but not necessarily telling us about cosmology. 